when you decide to write some computer code, you've got a choice. You're faced with a choice straight off the bat, and that is, how am I going to write it? Am I going to write it in an integrated development environment, or am I going to write it in a text editor? And really, the only sensible option is an integrated development environment. And I'm going to go over the features that an IDE has, that's what it stands for, over a text editor and why you should probably use it um, and compare the two. But let's just talk about a text editor first because I want to show you that it, yeah, it is possible to write code in a text editor. Here's an example of one right now. So this is Notepad in Windows. You might be very familiar with it. I'm just going to write some code. Uh, so let's have some Python. So uh, print hello world and then let's have uh, my num equals. I'm going to make a deliberate mistake here um, and I'll see if you can spot it. Enter a number. There you go. And so I've written some code, computer code. If I wanted to then run that program, I'd have to go through a whole sequence of steps to make that happen. So I would have to feed it into a translator. I would have to run it in a separate window. It would take a little bit of time for me to actually run that computer program. And that's something to bear in mind um, as we go and have a look at an IDE, which we're going to have a look at now. So here is uh, Thony. Let's get rid of, uh, let's just copy and paste that code over. And Thony is an example of a um, an IDE for the Python programming language. And it immediately helps us out. And I'll go into uh, sort of the reasons why. But let's just cover some of the basics of what an IDE provides. Uh, and then when you read the basic thing is it provides an editor. This is one and the only thing it shares with a simple text editor like Notepad. That editor lets you edit the code uh, or change the code. Um, so it lets you type in letters and numbers and things like that. Without an editor and IDE, it would be uh, pretty useless. So an editor is important. And our second feature is this. I'm just going to quickly run this. OK, and it's going to give me a bit of information on the right hand side here. It says name error, name input is not defined, line two. So it's immediately tell me I've got a problem on line two and it's got a problem with this word here, input. OK, that is called error diagnostics. So it's immediately pointing out to me a, a problem and that lets me solve problems, usually syntax errors. Um, a lot more quickly and it gives me a lot more information than a, than a text editor would. Okay, so now I know I've got a problem here. I know that, yeah, I've made a mistake there. That's a capital I. It has to be a lowercase i. And look what happens to the word if I do this. It's gone purple. And there's this thing called syntax highlighting. Because uh, Thony recognizes input as like a key word, it's a function within Python, it's highlighted it purple. So syntax highlighting is a really useful feature as well. And that just simply, well, colors words in, uh, in different colors depending on their meaning and it helps you uh, look at your code and be able to read your code it makes it more readable okay so we've got editor error diagnostic syntax highlighting but wait there's more there's so much more um so so this little arrow here what happens when i when i run my program so i'm pressing that play button there and actually an awful lot has just happened in the background Pressing that play button has just translated the code that we have um, within in Python. It's fed it into an interpreter. And you can have a look at a separate uh, video about translators and how interpreters and stuff like that. But having access to a translator is a key feature of an IDE so that you can very quickly translate your code into a, a, um, a version that the computer can understand. Because obviously computers can't understand words, they understand binary. And the last feature we're going to cover is this thing called a runtime environment in the bottom right hand corner. I see this thing called shell here. OK, so that is uh, well, that lets you basically run the program. So we've translated the program by pressing this button and then the program is instantly run within the IDE itself. You don't have to worry about that happening in a separate window. Um, and that lets us immediately see changes that we've made to our code and how it affects the program when it's run. So. I mean, I'll stop there, but there are really are sort of IDEs with hundreds of extra features out there. Um, I'm just focusing on a very simple IDE to sort of to get across the, some of the key features that you might have in an IDE. So let's cover them again. So you've got editors, you've got the uh, which lets you edit your code. You've got translators, which lets you translate your code and then run it within the IDE. Uh, being able to run it within the IDE and seeing the results is the runtime environment. You've got syntax highlighting, which highlights key words or functions in different colors. And finally, error diagnostics. So they give you an indication of where particularly syntax errors are on your code so you can fix them quickly. And that's IDEs. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.